Hi and welcome to week 22 of World History 2. So this week we're going to um, delve into four pivotal topics that have shaped the course of history. We're going to explain the political, economic and social causes of European imperialism, describe the characteristics of said imperial rule, explore the causes and effects of the Sepoy Rebellion, and explain the impact of British rule on India. So, European imperialism was driven by a complex interplay of political, economic, and social factors. Economically speaking, European nations sought to expand their wealth and power through overseas trade, access to natural resources, and new markets for manufactured goods. Political competition, of course, rivalries between European powers fueled a race for colonies and territories, driven by strategic interests and geopolitical considerations. Third is social Darwinism. So the ideology of social Darwinism, which applied Darwin's theory of natural selection to human societies, justified imperial expansion as the inevitable triumph of superior civilizations over quote-unquote backward people. These causes set the stage for the era of European imperialism and its far-reaching consequences. Moving on to the characteristics of imperial rule. So imperial rule was characterized by having a centralized authority. Rulers wielded centralized power and control over vast territories often through colonial administrations or puppet governments. Uh, Imperial powers also exploited the resources and labor of subject territories for their own enrichment, leading to economic disparities and dependence. Cultural assimilation was another facet. Uh, Rulers imposed their culture, language, and values on subject populations, leading to cultural assimilation by force and the erosion of indigenous traditions. Fourth was military supremacy. Imperial powers maintained large standing armies or military forces to assert control over conquered territories and suppress resistance or rebellion. These characteristics underscored the unequal power dynamics inherent in imperial rule. Then we'll move on more specifically to India. The Sepoy Rebellion, also known as the Indian Mutiny, which had profound causes and effects. The causes were a combination of factors. Those included grievances among Indian soldiers, those are the Sepoys, over British policies, cultural and religious tensions, and rumors of British insensitivity towards local customs. Now, the effects of the rebellion had far-reaching consequences, including widespread violence, loss of life, and damage to British colonial authority. It also led to increased scrutiny of British rule in India and calls for reforms to address grievances and improve relations between rulers and subjects. The Sepoy Rebellion remains a pivotal event in the history of British India and the struggle for independence. Now, British rule had a profound and enduring impact on India. So their policies, such as land revenue systems and trade monopolies, led to economic exploitation and impoverishment of Indian peasants and artisans. Um, British colonialism also <clears throat> excuse me, disrupted traditional social structures and cultural practices, leading to social dislocation, loss of cultural identity, and the erosion erosion of indigenous knowledge systems. And the political legacy left behind was what laid the groundwork for modern India's political institutions and administrative structures, shaping the country's trajectory towards independence and nationhood. The legacy of British rule continues to shape India's political, economic, social, and political landscape today. So I wanna thank you all for following for following along i look forward to seeing you and working with you in class this week thank you